Hello everyone. Let's solve another algebra question from past that papers. If a, b, c are three consecutive integers between minus ten to plus ten, both inclusive, how many integer values are possible for the expression a cube plus b cube plus c cube plus three a b c upon a plus b plus c whole square? So a, b, c are three consecutive integers between minus ten to plus ten. Many students they will directly go with the hit and trial method over here, but after few hit and trials, you will come to know that you have wasted a lot of time. So in such a question, you should always go by the generalization method. What is that? We know that a, b, c are three consecutive integers between minus ten to plus ten. Three consecutive that means we'll have b in between. A will be just one less than that. So a will be b minus one. And c will be one more than b. That means b plus one. These will be the values of a, b, and c here. We'll be putting these values into the expression. So we have a cube. That means b minus one cube plus b cube will be b cube. C will be b plus one cube plus three a is b minus one. B will be b, and c will be b plus one. Upon We'll be having a plus b plus c. So if we add all of these, minus one minus one will be cancelled. We'll be left with three b. In the denominator, three b square will be nine b square. After this, in the numerator, we'll be getting b cube, b cube, b cube from here, and one three b cube from this expression. So we'll be getting total six b cube plus. We'll be getting minus one from here plus one from here, so both of them will be cancelled. Then from the first bracket, we'll be getting three b and minus three b square. Then from this particular expression, we'll be getting plus three b plus three b square. And from the last one, we've already taken three b cube. We'll be getting minus. 3b from it. Upon we'll have 9b square, so plus 3b and minus 3b will cancel. Minus 3b square plus 3b square will cancel. We'll be left with 6b cube plus 3b upon 9b square. We can still cancel numerator denominator by 3 and a b. So we'll be left with. 2b square plus 1 upon 3b over here. So we have a final expression in b. We know that value of b will lie from minus 10 to 10. So now you have to put all values of b in this expression from minus 10 to 10. You will come to know that only b equal to 1 will give an integer value, as well as b equal to minus 1 will also give an integer value. Because very clearly in the denominator we should have a multiple of three, so in the numerator as well we should have a multiple of three, and it becomes only when b equal to one and minus one. So there are only two integer values of this expression possible, and they will be possible when b equal to one and minus one. So option C will be the correct answer here. So that is how you have to proceed when such an expression is given. You should always generalize the situation. You should not go by hit and trial. I hope the explanation is clear. If you have a doubt please ask again